Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here at the free pick in the Pacers versus Mavericks NBA matchup on Sunday, February 25th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK to get 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for one-on-one concierge-style service, but those aren't available on the website. In order to get those type of packages, you need to text the number that you see on the screen. So if you make big bets, go ahead and text. But let's get to this one. We've got the Pacers taking on the Mavericks. And, you know, these are two teams coming into the season that I think had pretty muted expectations. The Pacers mired in that, you know, in the middle of America, kind of not a large market team. And I'll tell you, you know, the type of team that we have found value on year after year after year, there's always value on the small market teams because, well, most people know the big market teams and uh, they always believe that they're going to be the best of the teams. We look at the Dallas Mavericks in this one, a team that you know two years ago went to the Western Conference Finals. Last year didn't make the playoffs at all. This year, well, I think they're surprising a lot of people and we saw them do that last time out, especially busting up the Phoenix Suns. I know they were favored in that game, but man, you know, it's like it still hurt. All I heard was Sun, 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 Suns and the Mavericks, well, they said, I don't think so. And they absolutely dominated in that one. This is kind of a fun game to watch because we really have some of the top players in the NBA. I know there's a lot of great players in the NBA, but I think some of my favorites are all in this game. So we got Luka and Halliburton both going at it. And I think, you know, these are these guys are the future of the NBA the next five years plus. You know, these are the guys we're going to be talking about. And the thing is, is, you know, the Pacers come into this one with a winning record. And, you know, believe it or not, they have been a playoff team more often than not. And I think, you know, that's one of the misnomers about the Pacers as well is that, you know, they haven't been a bad team at all. You know, they've been a playoff team. And the thing is, you know, we look at um, we look at what the uh, Pacers have done have done recently, you know, coming into this game. They came out of the break with a monster beatdown of the Detroit Pistons, you know, just absolutely beating them up in that matchup. And the Mavericks, like I said, just crushing the Suns 123-113. Two-point favorite, but that, that line opened even higher than that and started heading south. Man, we got a lot of value. That was, you know, what you call an easy winner um, if, if you uh, were on the Mavs in that one. When we look at, uh, you know, what the Mavericks do offensively, the thing that I don't like what they do offensively is shoot free throws. They're 27th in the NBA in that category, something they're going to need to improve on. But shooting, they're kind of middle of the pack-ish, you know, but the Pacers still 30th in, in shooting percentage against. They don't play a lot of defense. And I think this is something they're going to have to figure out as time goes on, you know, to improve. I'm not talking about this season as it goes on, but you know next year and beyond that that they have the offense to put up the numbers and score and play with anybody but if you don't have defense well you're not going to uh, get it done against the better teams and I think that's the problem that the Pacers have I think the Pacers still hit the boards pretty well on the defensive side though and offensively well superlative so first in offense 30th in defense, the, the Mavericks, more middle of the road in both of these categories. I think that, you know, when we look at the tail of the tape here, I just think that the Mavericks are the better team right now. I think the Pacers certainly can beat anyone on any given night. We saw that, you know, early this season with the in-season tournament. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll with the Mavs on the road where they've been very good, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com, 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.